Hello friends, welcome to the course of Code Igniter for RESTful API development using SILD authentication. Inside this video, we will create List Project API. If I back to editor, inside the last video, we had created Add Project API. And by the help of that, we had created some projects and saved inside our projects table. Now this time, we will create List Project API. So inside that API, we'll pass authorization token value inside header and also we'll get the user ID from that. So once we get the user ID, then we'll go inside our database table and query on the behalf of that. Back to editor, go inside our list projects method. Let's remove these two lines of comment. So while calling this method, we need to pass authorization token value. It means logged in user can access all about listing of all the projects. So here we will read user ID equals to auth helper function and ID method. So successfully, by the help of this line, we will read all about the user ID. Then we need to create an instance of project model. So let's say project object new. It will be project model and once we create this object then by the help of this user id and find all method will list all the projects on the basis of user so here let's say project object will use where condition inside this where method i will add a condition that is user id and it will be user id and finally we'll use find all method so this line of code is going to list all about the projects according to user ID. And finally, let's say that here response equals to status equals to true message. Let's say projects data and finally inside data equals to let's store all the projects into a variable. And that will be let's say project data and this variable will assign inside this data key and finally after this response let's return this response created and here let's response so successfully as we can see that now we have all the code to list all the projects according to user ID and one more thing that this API we can access once the user will be logged in, so we need to add the filter inside the route. So go inside routes.php. This is all about the route called list hyphen projects. So inside this third value of this get method, let's say filter equals to API auth. So once we add this filter, it means we need to pass authorization token value inside header. Otherwise, we'll get invalid access. Back to postman. Development server already started. So I will copy this URL called add have project, open a new tab, paste it here, and this time list projects API we will call using get request type. So here let's copy the route called list hyphen projects. So I will remove instead of add hyphen project, let's say list hyphen projects. So I haven't passed all about the authorization token value. Click on send button and we can see invalid access. Go inside authorization, add a key called authorization inside header and I will pass let's say that bearer and the token value. This is the token what we have generated for this user. Go inside header authorization. This is our value called bearer space token value click on send button and now as you can see that on the basis of this logged in user token we have two projects inside our database so successfully this is all about list projects api and one more thing we can add one more checkpoint inside this method that if suppose we don't have any data inside this variable like if any logged in user have no projects so inside that case we can add or if else condition here so what i mean like if count let's say project data greater than zero it means we have some project otherwise so if we have project 
I will copy this response and put here inside this if block. Otherwise, go inside this else block. Let's say status equals to false. And inside this message, let's say no process data found. And finally, inside this data, it will be an empty array. So successfully, also we have added a count checkpoint. So finally, we have completed all about our list products API. So for this video session, guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.